Hello, this is Retro Markey. Now this video is not sponsored by ME64.com, but it really should be. All jokes aside, I do recommend ME64 for all your Commodore spare parts and machines and that kind of thing. In fact, ME64 did make this case here for the Beeb SID that I finally finished building. Yay! So, <clears throat> this is the Beeb SID. We've got an audio out here. Two 1 megahertz buses here. You only actually need one of them to connect to get your beep SID working. Uh, here we've got two power options. Put that in the camera. Here we've got two power options. I'm using a floppy drive connector for my 5 volt. And there's also the possibility of using an external um, power supply, a regulated one. And here I've actually got my LED just poking out there, out of the case. So what I'm going to do is quickly uh, take the lid off and explain what I've done inside. Because there are a couple of configurations you can do with this. And I uh, also thought it might be vaguely interesting. So, yeah. So I've now taken the lid off. And I can show you a little bit about what I've done. So like I mentioned, power is going into the floppy connector here. And I've got a voltage regulator 7805 here, but that's completely unnecessary. Um, and I'm missing 7812 there. Now that's there for future use possibility. And I'm, I'm also going to get the VR709 um, in there and the capacitors at a later date. I'm also missing a couple of transistors here that I'm waiting to receive. But none of that's necessary because I'm using a Swin SID. Uh, and it sounds absolutely brilliant actually so and to be honest I didn't want to waste um, an original SID in here it does seem a little bit overkill considering that really a beeb SID is kind of a bit of a novelty it's a very good novelty but um, it's also easier as well for wiring up because the Swin SID only uses 5 volts so like I mentioned I didn't need the voltage regulators and the capacitors and transistors but other than that, it's pretty much solid. We've got some resistor packs here, two 1 megahertz buses. Now, they're not pass-throughs, as far as I could understand. So you don't actually need both of those, but I've got both of mine on there anyway. I'll be using the front one here. Uh, I've wired up an LED to the front here. And also put an audio socket here. You don't have to do that. It will go through the Beebs speaker using the jumper switch here. But um, I can put audio out through here and also out through the Beeb itself because I'll be using my BBC Master and it sounds amazing through the hi-fi as you will hear in a little while. Um, jumper here also. So there's two jumpers here. One is for 9 and 12 volts depending on 8580 or 6581 SID. And another jumper here which states whether you're powering through here or through here. And that's pretty much it. So there's a bit of an overview of the board itself. It's actually quite large. Um, so having a case, I think, is fairly necessary. And especially when you've got the 1 megahertz bus cable and power cables, you want it to be a solid unit and, and not uh, shorting out on anything. Um, yeah, you don't want to expose PCB anyway, um, in any case. So that's that. Now time to fire it up. Okay, so the BBC is fired up, in my case my lovely master here. I've got a GoTech drive. Um, a reason for that is I had some issues with my, I think I've got a turbo, no, I've got a smart spy in this one. I did have some issues with that, um, and I think Gadget UK did as well. Um, so I've had to use the GoTech. Um, also some differences between the Beeb and the Master. Um, now talking to Gadget UK, I did want to say a big thank you for sending me the board for that. Um, that's very generous of him. He has sent me a few things in the past. so And he's probably my favourite channel on YouTube. So besides promoting AMI64 for all your Commodore needs, I also want to mention Gadget UK for all your repair watching needs. Anyhow, I um, also want to mention AMI64 did 3D print this case. Now, I know the guys there, and I reckon if you wanted a um, case printed for your Beeb SID, if you contacted them, I reckon they could knock you one up for a fiver. But uh, get in touch with me in the comments if you're interested. They did also make this case 
for my Kim 1 which I made myself by sourcing the PCB and all the components and programming the Arduino but um, and it does work there we go with a 9 volt battery in there or via power through to your PC but that's for another video so we'll leave that to later okay on to this one uh, so actually yeah let's turn off you want to turn off any copros for compatibility so at the moment I don't know if you remember this machine probably not but um, this is my BBC master which has four switches back here to select between the two versions of MOS 3.5 and 3.2 on the master and also the BBC B128 Plus and the regular Beeb. So I can use a regular Beeb uh, on this as well. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that now and show you. So if we go to the actual regular Beeb, I'm pretty sure we're going to have problems with the disc here. So we'll fire up the first disc. Yeah, we've got this channel error message here. I'm sure that is to do with the Smart Spy here, which I have tried to disable, but it's still causing problems. Um, although it does work. Does it work okay by itself? Yeah, anyway, that's something for another time. So. Just a bit of a slight word of warning there, if you're using Turbo MMC or Smart Spy, you might have some issues with this, I'm not 100% sure. But also check out Gadget UK's videos, quite a lot of info on there as well, about the uh, Beeb SID. Right, so back to the regular master, and let's check out some tunes. Um, now the thing about this I really liked, and still like, so I've got this going through my hi-fi and to the master speaker, so it sounds amazing. But the difference is, okay, it's a regular 64 sound chip, but the tunes that, that are uh, I'm going to play you, you won't get on the actual Commodore 64. It's not like, mo I mean, one or two maybe I think have been ported, but most of them are um, new creations by homebrewers, um, mostly on Stardot. So... You will get a new experience in that sense, even if you're used to or own a Commodore 64. So let's boot up first disc. There's about 100 tunes maybe I can get hold of. I've got hold of. How have I put the disc in? So these are on the telly. Feeders in bed. Wow, that's going back. I remember watching that. Benny Hill. Classic. So that's a disc full of uh, TV shows. What we've got on the next one, I'm just going to show you just one or two random examples, otherwise this video gone forever. Let's skip that, shall we? James Bond. Tubular Bells, Mike Oldfield. Pet Shop Boys. Don't sound, some of them don't sound quite as good as others, but this is 1981, Raids of the Lost Ark. Nice. 
Tainted Love, classic. And finally on this one. Should be making your mind up, I remember that one. And let's have a quick look at what else we've got very quickly. I just want to really get you sort of juiced up. Oh just kind of Sid, Beeb Sid foreplay. You can check this out yourself, build one. Okay, they're all Queen songs, very nice. Oh, the tiger. That sounds excellent. Oh, drums and everything. Come on, Eileen, surely not. How are they going to do that? <laughs> nice. Right, let's see if I can find... Oh, right, okay, 70s rock. I'm just looking for a particular disc to show you guys. Oh, Abba, that was it. Nah, not really. Okay, this is the demo you get just to test your hardware, to make sure it's working. Anyway, you can check it out on Gadget's channel. There is a version of Iridium and Thrust that sound amazing, which I think have been ripped from the C64. But also, there's a couple of games I found with SID tunes, believe it or not. Let's boot this one up. So this is a game using the SID chip. There are a couple. So that's the classic carousel game for the beep. And finally, just to finish this off, there is something even more interesting, I think, called the, is it Sid Quiz, I think it's called. There's copyright protection there. Turn off the copro. Right, boot. Put the disc in. So the idea is to guess which song is playing as quickly as possible. Oh, it's Blue Monday, we're talking about. So this is really awesome, I think. Is that Final Countdown? No. Oh, Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> nice. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
turn that down a bit. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you on the Beeb SID. Um, there's about close to 100 different SID tunes that you can download onto the GoTech, or even to be all floppy if you like. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, it was a fun project to build and even more amazing getting it to work. And even more amazing that a BBC Micro, whether it's in focus or not, can play SID tunes and even some games as well. There's three or four games um, and a bunch of tunes. So absolutely awesome. You can use a Swin SID, an 8580 or 6581. But uh, look at the schematics and make sure you wire up power correctly, otherwise you'll end up destroying very valuable chips. So that's pretty much for this video. I've got some other stuff coming up. The Kim 1 I should probably do. The Kim 1 Uno that is. The RC2014 that I built here. It's all nice and working, but I'm waiting on the CPM module. And also there's the tiny basic computer that I haven't shown yet. So I've been busy doing a lot of stuff actually. So better say, Retromarkey out. Thank you.